we are at the top of one of the handles or one of the weights of the barbell. The author describes this hike as a barbell hike. Top of Hooper. Top of Hooper. We're at the Hoopa Hooper. Hoopa. Uh, we are finding a lot of new plants. Uh, if you look down, we've seen these before. Uh, it's like a little pine forest down there. Uh, don't we don't know what you've any seen them before here at this hike. Well, I've seen these before in other hikes too. Oh, um, I haven't really noticed these before. Okay, not in the size that they're yeah, there's showing a, up here. I would agree. This is a a large cluster. Clump. Uh, and then I guess. If there are dunes per se, this is this is the where we're claiming that they might be. Uh, but this is a great stand of one of the two main trees that he talked about. <laughs> An oak. I don't know. It's kind of a pear-shaped leaf. Yeah. We were both commenting on how we wished we remembered more of the names and could identify some of these plants better than we have been. Yeah, I think we focus more on like different environment types, yeah. different terrain types, and we had we got birds, we learned birds. Yeah, we've learned a ton. It's just, it's a couple like different flowers. Right now would be nice, like these beautiful blue guys down here that yeah. we're passing over. Great use of 360 video. I haven't seen any of these through the Oculus yet. I have. <laughs> oh, well, maybe not the Oculus, but the... You with the stereo the scope. Headsets. Yeah, the headsets. Uh, definitely done that. But I'd like, I'm curious on the Oculus if we can hit play and pause and stuff like that. Neil's home and he's got his. Yeah. Well, this is definitely a simple hike. Um, I would suggest bringing, if we were better prepared for this hike, I would bring a plant book because there's no connectivity. We are in the middle of through nowheresville. Yeah, you're not gonna have your phone. Yeah, so uh, you gotta bring paper. I would bring you know, at least a paper guide to the plant types that are mentioned in the book. Guide wear pants, wear boots. Yeah, I you really want to draw right now, don't you? <laughs> well, I would say one thing if anybody from this um, nature reserve preserve is listening uh, a bench, I would put one bench at least like right there. Mm. Uh, it is kind of hard to sit back and draw if you're sitting on the ground. The ground is very much alive. Alive! <laughs> yeah, there's spiders. Among other things. Plant spiders. And right in this area, the ground is very unstable. There are There is definitely digging going on Ooh. underneath us. A lot of holes. A lot of holes. Could be snakes. Maybe. <laughs> Why? Why? Why would you, you do, that? do that? Why would you do that on film? <laughs> All right. Well, I think this pretty much does it for the Hoopa Branch Savannah Dunes. Dunes. Ryan says I'm the only one that had the word dunes. 
So I, we'll, I didn't hear of any dunes here. We'll have to figure out how I came up with the word dunes. But it is sandy. It's just not hilly. All right, so we're going to be heading back to the car because it's an out and back, and then we do another out and back in the other direction to the wet prairie. Is that what it is? Wet savanna? It's not a prairie. This is the savanna. Next, we're going to the wetland. Yeah, but what's that name? Wet savanna? I don't remember. I don't think it, I don't think it had a name. I was never given a name. <laughs> no, I don't think it had a name. It's just the wetlands. This is the savanna part of this hike, and those are the wetlands part of this hike. Okay. Uh, yeah, Cooper was named. This next one was not. Well, we'll see you tomorrow.